everybody out there thanks for tuning in once again to the QB network and hitting the streets with your girl Tsunami now we're still down at KMG studios and we're here with producer D-Boy or should I say super producer as I like to call him because the beats are super banging almost almost <laughs> just being modest so uh, D-Boy tell us how long have you you've been producing and like how did you get to the level where you are now because the streets is going half for you right now um, I've been producing for about about six years right now and just just uh, how I got to the level where I'm at is just, just staying consistent and, and just really just honing in on my craft and, and my skill and just just eat, sleeping and, and, and breathe in production. So you, you definitely have to do that. All right, perfection, perfection. So what got you started in producing? Like, where did your love of music actually come from? Um, what inspired me to do music is actually since a young age, I was, uh, I was five years old. Uh, playing the drums in my grandmother's church, so it's definitely something that's always been it's always been around me It's always been a part of my life um, even just down to uh, uh, In middle school, you know, I was in I was in band I was in uh, I was, You know doing the percussion in band in high school I was always I was always that kid that was listening to music that had the headphones on in the hallway So just once I was able to actually get my hands on some equipment, you know, I just hit the ground running haven't stopped making music since. I'm way out in Atlanta, right? And I'm hearing D-Boy, D-Way, this producer named D-Boy. So, you know, I had to check it out for myself. Right. And I actually checked you out. You had did a, a beat for T-Pain and Shauna. Mm -hmm. Nappy Boy is what it was. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, yeah, and it was banging. So, the streets, they know what they like and they know what they're talking about. And I'm riding with them. So, it's definitely, you know, some bangers that I heard. And I also heard that you're out here winning, like, 85% of your, your beat battles. So, oh, how many have you actually... One, how many have you lost? Um, well, I've, I've done five total. Um, out of those five, I've won three, and the two that I lost, I came in second place. When you lose, how does that make you feel? What does that, what does that do to you? It's, it's, it's a mixed emotion because you know you, you definitely want to win, especially when you're competing and you're, and you're, you know, you're, you're putting everything into your music. You know, you really don't want to come in second, but at the same time, it's like. You're, you're happy for the people that's winning, you know, because you don't want to be the only one winning. You know, you want to you want to definitely have, especially like your peers, you know, coming up with you. That's a good attitude to have, you know. And also, you know, when you lose, it just it just it puts things into perspective. Like you know, you can't win every time, so it makes you like, you got you got to come back harder and, and, and stronger with their with their music, with the beats, with the with the talent. It, it make it definitely makes you want to work harder because when you're winning all the time. It kind of, you get, sometimes you get kind of lax with it. And we'll be back with more from D-Boy Super Producer. <laughs>
sit up underneath you pen and raps None of five paying taxes in return we get the scraps Don't you want your belly filled? Promise me the mind gon' deliver on the deal How much illa can a seal get? In a sky where the ribbon is the limit Let him fly Of course I dig the kissing and the hugs But still love, the love ain't paid a bill yet Ain't a groupie that can scoop me Mom floozy ain't the real threat It's your attitude you feel I'm mapping out success You coordinating stress Can a man get some latitude for real death? Just let me do what I do There's not enough hours in the day It's always work, no play You steady And I can't get with it Don't think I'm slipping If you stop that tripping I'll be on my way Listen, so tell me what you're trying to do Cause really I'm just trying to build While I'm out pursuing my dreams Touch the world with the flyest crew Baby, I need you to cheer And knowing that you fear My success has been stressing you lately Pump your brakes before you drive us both crazy Maybe you be better with a lazy ass dude We're winning, baby, check your attitude Me and you been together for a long time So stop acting brand new, ma You out of line, wonder why It's so easy to hit the road with the brethren Touring city to city, you at home stressing Where you been, where you at, who you with Who's that voice in the back, better not be some I'm gone, peace, see you later Audi 5000, do yourself a big favor, get ghost Cause baby girl, you're doing the most I'll be gone till November, hitting shows on the coast So close, quit all that negative here Do the opposite, I need you to cheer I need you to cheer Girl, you know that I got you Just let me do what I do There's not enough hours in the day It's always work, no play You steady and I can't get with it, don't think I'm slipping If you stop that tripping, I'll be on my way Thank you guys for staying tuned in to Hitting the Streets with your girl Tsunami. And we're still here with super producer D-Boy. Yes, sir. Yep, and uh, so we're going to let him fill us in about what he's got going on a little more. Uh, D-Boy, who are you working with now? Who are some of the artists that you're working with at this point? Who's an artist that I'm working with right now? Um, Priest, you know, you might be familiar with him from Hot New Hip Hop. Um, uh, Rocky, he's real hot out yep, here in Denver. Yep. Uh, the artist that I worked with exclusively, A Fox. You know, he he raps, he sings, he he, he writes, he does it all. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of tracks together. Uh, Mr. Midas, Young Doe, uh, Interstate Ike. Man, just really, really, just just a lot of people out here. Denver's got a lot of a lot of talent that's coming up and, and rapping, singing. You know, working with a uh, cat that's singing out here, Be More. Okay. Um, working with. Uh, Real talented writer's name's KT. He's with the uh, writer's blog out in uh, out in ATL, out in basically all over the, all over the nation right now. That's so, heavy hitters. That was the, like the top the top of the, the food chain out here in Denver. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, who would you see yourself actually making a beat? Like, who do you desire? You say, I, this is one person that I would like to make a beat for. Maybe it's in the industry. Who would that be? Who would you just envision yourself working with? Really myself, like I'm, I'm a huge fan of R&B music, so just, just any, any, just talented R&B cat, you know, like Trey Songz, Chris Brown, Usher, you know, even someone up and coming like him, like The Weeknd. Uh, I think one of my favorites though, Mario. I, I'd love to get on a track with Mario. Just, uh, just makes we could come up with something dope. I honestly think. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be seeing that somewhere here in the near future. Yep. Yep, definitely. Okay, so um. I was listening to the song that you produced, right. and you also wrote the hook, but you also sang the hook as well. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So and it was good though. I mean, I really liked it. Like you could really sing. So um, is that something that you're looking forward to doing? Do you have a passion for singing and writing? Is that something you'd like to get into? My passion is really is just for making the music. I think that any producer secretly would want to either sing or rap. I, I think that's something that like all producers like universally share just to get on the track and, and you know just just be the artist as well as the producer. But for right now I I just want to stick to just making the music and you know just providing that heat for the artists and maybe maybe me being an artist sometime in the near future. But for now just 
just the production, being behind the scenes. Uh, what are some of your goals for the near future? What is Trying to my goal really I, I really want to just be extremely successful like so successful to the point where I really could just put other people on that's because that's that's all that matters to me is just it's just being able to you know help my friends get on help you know even people that I don't know but have the same passion for music just to be able to you know just to be able to one, once they come to me and and they have you know, they let me know like, hey, I rap, I sing, or I do this. You know, I, I want to be able to check them out and be able to say, okay, well, here, let me let me do this for you. Let me, you know, get you in touch with the right Put people. You on, right? Yeah. Okay. Tell people where they can find you so they can get one of them hits with they for the album, one of them dope D Boy Super Producer beats. Oh, of let course. them know where they can get with you at. Of course, I'll, I I don't really have like a sound clip or anything like that, but you can find my music on SoundCloud. It's uh, www.soundcloud.com slash boy Davey. Boy Davey. So backslash B O Y D A B E Y. All right. So make sure you hit your boy up and also stay tuned for the next episode of Hitting the Streets with Tsunami. You never know where we're going to be on the QV Network. <laughs>